So for the first video, we're going to be doing the Dragon Ball Jordan one. I'm primarily going to focus on my design process, how I go about doing my design drafts, and hopefully you guys can take from what you see in this video and apply it to your own work. I'm not going to be talking about the box too much. I'm still trying to perfect that. And maybe in the future when I get it how I like it, I'll upload a video how I make it. So today we're just going to stick to the sneakers. Um, a couple tips and tricks here and there and a couple side notes that hopefully help you guys as well. So I mean, let's get into it. So starting with the design draft first, I highly suggest you guys find a focal point of your shoe. It doesn't have to be the swoosh, it could be the front panel, the back panel, whatever panel you want, but find something that you want, make it, and then when you really are satisfied with the design, build around it. That's what I found easiest for me because nine times out of 10, when you're trying to do the kind of shoes that you want to be cohesive, when you just randomly put stuff, it doesn't really tell the story. So you pick the focal point. For me, it was Nimbus because Nimbus is the key thing with Goku. Made my own kind of swoosh design. I didn't want to copy anyone else's. And then from there, I just built the rest of the shoe around Nimbus. So a couple of things, especially for your drafts that are going to turn into your sneakers. Um, don't just put the first image that you like on the shoe. I suggest you find multiple images. You can find a lot on Pinterest. That's what I use a lot. And insert 10 to 20 different pictures and just pull details from those. Um, composition is a very big thing and a lot of you guys may not know what composition is. I can do a more detailed video about that in the future. But basically it's the arrangement of your pictures. You know, how is your shoe telling a story? Composition is used in anything, music, um, posters, comic books. That's how you basically make your things cohesive. How is your shoe cohesive? Where are the images and the design relative to each other? Especially if you're putting characters on the shoe, the composition can break your shoe. I mean, sure, people are gonna be like, oh man, that's a dope custom. But if you really want your work to stand out, composition is a very big part of that. Side note, because <sighs> I know some of you guys out there don't like to do design drafts. You may feel like it limits your creativity, but guess what, my friend? I'm going to help you out. Painting a custom sneaker is different than painting on a canvas. You can freestyle on a canvas because no one cares about the canvas. You go to the store and buy a piece of art. If it's on a canvas, do you come home and say, hey, look, I have a custom painted canvas. No, you don't. Why? Because you don't care about the canvas. No one cares about the canvas. No one cares about the name of the canvas. No one cares about what the canvas is made out of. People just want to work on the canvas. It's opposite for a shoe. It is. People see the shoe first. Oh, this dude painting custom Jordans. Custom Air Force Ones. If you don't believe me, do me a favor, my friend. Go to your local Walmart. You know you got one around the corner. Buy them young blinky dudes, them young shacks, and them Velcro shoes my boy Macklemore were talking about. Go home and paint them. Try to sell them for a few hundred dollars. You think you gonna sell them? You think you gonna sell them? Guess what, my friend? No. 
because nobody that's affording custom shoes and wants custom shoes is going to pink blinky dudes, shacks, and velcros. Are you going to pick blinky dudes, shacks, and velcros? You get paid next week, right? You ever hear your homeboy say, hey, man, I'm about to go cop them new Velcro 3000s, the one with the three strap, not the two. No. They picking Jordans. They picking Yeezys. And why is that? Because the shoe matters. Prada, Gucci, Louis, all the big name brands all have design teams. They do designs. They put together a product. They don't wake up one day and say, hey, man, let's freestyle a new bag. It don't work like that. Now we're getting into the time lapse of me painting Goku. And like I said, I just wanted to throw that quick sign note in there because I know a lot of artists don't do design drafts. And again, it can limit you. You know, you're going to have returning customers. You're going to have people that rock with your work. So they just want to buy whatever. But for the average person, consumer, they're not going to pay hundreds or even thousands of dollars for a product they're not even sure they're going to like. They want to see what they're getting. And just keep that in mind. When you want to reach a new and broader audience, you're going to have to do a design draft because, you know, people want to see what they're paying you for. I'm going to shut up now. Enjoy the rest of the video. it for the video guys um i had to switch rooms i had started editing and i had already moved all the stuff out the other room and started painting some shoes so i just decided to do the outro in here just let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next i know for sure i'm gonna do a studio room tour i'm just trying to figure out how i want to shoot it um like subscribe greatly appreciate it and also follow me on my socials color me fresh it should be down at the bottom and until then peace